Hey guys, I'm Tracy Alameda Sinjin. I'm here with Sabine Lasicki. How you doing? Welcome to the Tracy and Sabine show. I think we're going to be here a little while, so. Anyway, let's get started. There's a few questions for Sabine on uh, Twitter, so let's uh, get, right, get right into it. Um, somebody asked, Mark, Mark from Twitter asked, what is it like to train at Boletaries? Um, it's, it's really good. It's a great facility, I think, to train at, and, um, you know, we have outdoor courts, indoor courts, we have the great gym, so, um, it's just the perfect place to train. And I saw you there during the Eddie Hur, and we actually had, like, really freezing cold weather. It was very unusual for Florida. It's like you brought it home, you brought it home from Germany. No, I haven't. <laughs> yeah, you did. No. I was, I'm blaming it on you. Oh, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. that's easier, right? It is, it is much easier. At least it's not blamed on me from Chicago. But, um, so who, who was your idol growing up? Joseph from Twitter asked. Um, well, there were a few. I, I really liked watching Martina Hingis and uh, Jennifer Capriati and uh, Mary Pierce. Those are the three biggest ones. Did you did you try to style your game after any of those players, or did you just always play, you know, the way you thought you should play? Um, I always played naturally. So uh, the way I play, it's just the way um, you know I'm. I feel on the court. So. Um, but I actually braided my hair because of Mary Pierce. Really? Yeah. <laughs> because of Mary. That's true. She had the really long, exactly long ponytail. That's why I wanted to have long hair because I had short hair. Yeah. And then I said, my I told my mom I have to have long hair. I want to have the hair like she does. So did did your mom cut your hair when you were a kid, or or like because you said she, you had short hair? Yeah, she wanted me to have shorter hair. So did you have, did you have like the bowl cut? No. I, I had the, I had the bowl cut. There's three of us, and all three of us had, like, the typical Asian, like, straight here, down there haircut. I didn't, I didn't get a haircut didn't from my that. mom till, uh, from anybody except my mom until I was about 13. Really? Yeah. I don't even remember. I mean, it's like, you remember that movie Dumb and Dumber? No. Uh, there's, you'll have to see that, but it's uh, Jim Carrey. And then he just, they put the bowl around and he's just sitting there. And oh, just really? The scissors. And it's getting shorter. Oh, yeah, exactly. It's getting shorter. <laughs> exactly. Well, what's your favorite type of music, Michelle asked from Twitter? Uh, there are quite a few. I mean, it always depends um, on what is on and what I like. It, um, I don't have any real preferred artists. Um, but there are quite a few, like Rihanna, um, Lady Gaga lately was good, and um, the Black Eyed Peas. So there are quite a few. It's hard to name. Do you try? Do you try to catch any concerts while you're you know you're on the road and stuff? Um, I've been at a concert last year um, of Lady Gaga in Berlin. How was it? Amazing. I mean, she, her outfits are unreal, huh? It was, but she fell because of her shoes. <laughs> she literally fell, yeah. like on her face, or how, how um, bad? No, on her butt. <laughs> on her butt. That's awesome. Did you get a picture of that? No, I was too far away. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been cool. Uh, what is the best benefit of being a pro tennis player? John asked from Twitter. Oh, there are quite a few things. Um, you get to travel around a lot, so um, you see the different cultures, and it's it's very interesting. But um, you sometimes also have trouble because of the flying. You always have to change the flights and everything. But... You know, um, it's just fun to, to travel. That, that's what you say, the travel is the most fun part? I would have been like... No, it's not the most fun part, but um, I think... The I mean, food? Great. No. The ice cream? <laughs> Your ice cream <laughs> My was ice 70 cream. bucks. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so we're here at, in Melbourne, and basically, two minutes before she comes in, I had, a, I had to have a little bit to eat for lunch. And um, she's like, what did you have? I'm like, ice cream and yeah, that's, that's a Greek salad. Yeah, that's the first thing she mentioned. So I'm a little obsessed with ice cream. <laughs> and it was pretty good. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's the first thing I mentioned. Ice cream and the Greek salad. And it's quite expensive. Room service is quite expensive. But, uh, yeah, 70, 70, so odds, 70 odd dollars. Yeah, it's a little too expensive. But it was worth it because it was ice cream. <laughs> and they have this really good thing, which we don't have in the U.S. here. It's called golden syrup ice cream oh really yeah it's just I, I guess it's like a syrup ice cream okay that's awesome like sugar ice cream <laughs> I, am... <laughs> I won't say what i think no. <laughs> what? Then i'm gonna be really fat in like two minutes so post your questions if you guys have any questions for us and join us um so what what um what's your favorite thing about australia what's your favorite thing about being here in melbourne i love the weather and i love the crowds 
uh, the crowd is just amazing. I mean, um, even yesterday I had, uh, you know, so many people supporting me. So it's it's always a lot more fun when you um, when the crowd is enthusiastic as well. And they have this um, actual like cheers for all different countries, right? What what's the German cheer? What does it sound like? I don't Do you know? know? No. You don't know? No. But you, you know what I'm talking about? That you can always hear them going like, you know, for Aussies, it's Ozzy, 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 oi, oi, oi. Yeah. But they I don't had, know they, what it... I was at Grigor's match today, they had something for him, and like, you know, I, I don't know what they were saying. Of yeah, course, last I can't. year they were singing too at my yeah. match, but so I don't this... remember. You don't remember? <laughs> no, because I was so focused. So I, I just remembered when. Um, That's why I wasn't Vulcan. successful, because I wasn't focused. No. I wouldn't know what the song was. <laughs> That's why you're a much better player than I was. Get it. <laughs> so, no, so good. sorry, what you were saying? They were singing what? Uh, when the ball kids were leaving the court, they were singing some fun stuff, like, uh, thanks for coming out and something like that. Oh, really? That. So That's was, nice. That fun, yeah. That's really cool. So the Slice asks, what's your favorite country to visit? Oh, that's tough. Um, I really like Australia. Um, what else? What country? I, I like to go to Switzerland, too. It is very nice there. So, yeah, um, yeah I guess those two. That would I mean, be your, your, your favorite, too? Yeah, probably. What Wilson racket, uh, Taiko asks, what Wilson racket are you currently playing with? Let's see if she can name her racket. Because we are... <laughs> she knows it's what color it is. Every player knows thing, what color yeah. it is. Yeah. Every player knows what color it but what? Well, it's the Blade 98. 98, <laughs> yes. <laughs> 98. Yeah, 98. So, I can tell you a fun story about that. Um... So I'm born 89, <laughs> and I just got my racket last year, changing from Prince to Wilson. So, and we did that um, thing on Tennis Channel. The Tennis Channel back check. Yeah. So Tracy is telling me um, which model I'm using because I didn't know I was trying everything out, so I um, wasn't sure. So she told me I'm playing the Blade 98, and then I pull out my racket out of the bag and say I'm playing the Blade 89. <laughs> And full of confidence. Yes, yeah, just with a lot of authority. <laughs> She's like, I really love this racket. It's the best racket. Yeah, the you Blade should 89. You should change it. Yeah, yes. You should change it. We should it. make it a much smaller head. <laughs> now no one will be able to make contact with the ball. That would be great. <laughs> and Taigo, yeah, she's playing with the Blade 98 pink. So what do you think about the, the Blade 98 pink? What do you like about it? Um, I really like um, the feel of it, um, the way I have control and power with it. So, um and yes, the color is nice. It's too. pretty cool, right? <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I, you guys talked to Asud a couple of days ago, who was our, our a week ago, our graphic designer, and um, Sabine was actually at the photo shoot when we did it, and it was completely different. So some of the rackets you guys saw Saud bring out, that's what Sabine saw, and then we we had made some changes from that time, and uh, I think all I the think players are happy, yeah, right? Yeah, I think so, it's better. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a huge difference, and, and so the players were, were all happy about that. And the bag is pretty cool, too. Thank you. <laughs> I like I like the shiny part. We we worked yeah. on that. So, so uh, uh, sorry, Chris and uh, John Lyons, they, they did, all did a great job on the bag, so yeah. it's always nice to match, True. isn't it? <laughs> the Slice said, saw you wearing the Wilson clothes this week. What was it like? <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, um, they were really comfortable. So, um, you know, for me, it's important to not worry about the clothes too much on the, when I'm on the court so I can, you know, focus on the tennis. Um, so yeah, no, it's good. I like the clothes. JV Tennis said, so Sabine, will you start wearing more pink to match your frame? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Oh, uh, no, I'm not the typical blonde girl with, um, only wearing pink clothes, but, um, yeah, I mean, Wilson has the, <laughs> we do has have the some purple pink, dress. That's true. <laughs> so. That's true. We don't really have too many uh, pink, pink things uh, uh, for, for the season, but who knows? Who knows what we'll have in, in the future? Uh-oh. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe we have to match it all the way around. But what's your style, like, off the court? What do you like to wear? Who are your favorite brands and stuff like that? Uh, pretty casual. Um, I mean, uh, I really like to wear just jeans and, and a nice shirt or um, a couple skirts. But I really like to dress up sometimes too for the players' parties or the events that we have. So um, it's a nice change up, I think. Did you go to the players' party last night? No, I haven't. No. Did you? No, I bagged. I was, I'm, I'm jet lagged. I've slept about three hours a night. 
And and then uh, so we worked till like you know we closed to the suite at eight. We had dinner. Uh, yeah, so you should have gone. Many went there after ten. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know, if a couple of the guys that I like were there, maybe I would have definitely. Oh, went. who are your favorites? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, let's talk about this. Let's let's talk about our favorite guys. There's a couple of guys on the Wilson team that I would say if I didn't work for Wilson, I would definitely consider it. <laughs> I can't name those ones. Well, yeah, it's probably better. Not yeah, I think I think I think I have to keep that one quiet. How about you? I'll put you on so I'll, I'll keep it quiet too. Okay, so wait. Safer. Look, no, we'll say we'll say on tour. Like, <laughs> let me guess, Feliciano. Feliciano is always a solid favorite for 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 girls. I think he's a super nice guy and everything, but um, he's a Wilson player, so. That automatically eliminates him from my list. <laughs> but yes, I, I do like Feliciano. Um, how about, let's see. No, let's, let, let's say, like, let's say. I won't, I won't say anything. You, how, no, let's, say, let's say movie stars. People that we Brad don't know. Pitt. Brad Pitt. That's I your top? Troy. I watched Troy last night. Oh, yeah. I love the movie. And he has his shirt off like three quarters of the movie, doesn't he? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> So, so that, that's oh, yeah. are you thing. saying that's why I like the movie? Yes, <laughs> pretty much. Yes. How about um Bradley Cooper, um, the actor, the one in The Hangover? He's pretty hot. Yeah, I don't know which one it is. And he, apparently, he likes tennis. Oh, he really? did. He did like some Nike event, and okay. yeah. So you should invite him. Yeah. Yeah, I think <laughs> we need to. US Open. We should invite him to the U.S. Open for the suite. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so now everyone's starting to try to guess who we who we like who we like uh, on, on tour. Sanga, he's he's he has a great personality. He's a really nice guy. I like him a lot. Grigor, I don't want to go to jail, so <laughs> so he's off. To the, Grigor Dimitrov. What happened? No, he's too young. Oh. I'm old. What do you mean what happened? He's not going to jail. He's... I thought I missed the story. <laughs> no, no. He just, actually, he just qualified. So congratulations to Grigor. He's in the main draw. Um, actually, a couple of next-gen, other next-gen players made the main draw. It was uh, Milos Raonic and uh, Petra Martic. And then Stephanie Robert and Frank Dankovic also qualified. So congratulations to them. You guys keep guessing. Yeah, let's, you guys let's change you the get, topic. You guys, yeah, I don't know. I think you're gonna get us in trouble, like with the guys on tour. Um, That's always the most favorite part, I think. Yes, I think I think I'll say, I'll say one guy that I think is cute. He is actually on the Wilson team, and it's because because you guys there's always like certain people, everyone always names, but it's not. This is not somebody that that I think everybody would think okay. of. Aria Takao. Who? Aria Takao. Doubles player plays with Robert Lindstedt. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. He's cute. <laughs> I like him too. He's very nice. Uh, Verdasco. Sometimes there's this thing called like, at least for me, a little too metrosexual. <laughs> Which you know, in the U.S., metrosexual, the hair is just too perfect, <laughs> mohawk. Everything's like too primped. Perfect. Too perfect. Yeah. <laughs> too thought out. Well, right. Yeah. I mean. I don't think about my outfits that much, and I don't want my guy to think about his outfits that much. What do you think? Well, I think about it. I do, but um, I do, not every single thing needs to But don't be, you think that's weird if a guy does that? Yeah. Like, thinks not, about it too much? For girls, it's, it's Yeah, okay, for girls, it's but, normal. But I yeah. mean, like, for guys, if your guy was, like, no, staring no, no, in the no. mirror, like, for an hour, like... No. When am I supposed to use the bathroom? <laughs> exactly. <then? laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> See back to tennis. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah let's, <laughs> Thank you. Let's go back to tennis. Um, what are the goal? Okay, Renis Stance asks, "What What are the goals you have set for yourself in 2011?" Um, well, because I was injured last year, um, you know, I I dropped in the rankings. So my main goal is to to get back where I was, um, you know, and focus on all aspects of my game to improve, and um, you know, and then we go from there. And you feel good. You feel healthy. Yeah, I'm that's healthy. the most important. That's thing. the most important thing because this way I can train and uh, you know play matches, play tournaments to uh, improve and get my ranking back. So um, hopefully soon. The first the first goal is to get top hundred back, and then we'll go from there. So where do you go from here? What what what's your schedule gonna look like for the next you know month or two? Um, well, I'll go to um, Florida to train. 
and um, then probably play some challengers in Memphis. So we'll mix it up with uh, some challengers to to get many matches in. And Memphis is a fun tournament as well. It's it nice is. to have like the guys and girls turn. You know. Yeah, it's always more relaxed. I think. It's, I think so too. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a fun event and I always played well there. Um, the courts suit me, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That's cool. And so, uh, what part of your game are you trying to improve? And, and enhanced by your current racket. The racket enhances like every part of our game, so <laughs> I'll answer that part. Come on, guys. <laughs> but but what, what, what what parts of your game are you trying to improve? Um, well, it's basically getting back to where I was. That's the, the main thing. And, um, you know, I want to um, get fitter, um, even fitter than I am now. So, um, and also to, to being able to play longer rallies and to set the points uh, better up. Do you think that the game, like how fast do you think the game changes in the way the girls play and stuff like that? Because you've been on the tour for how many years now? It's my fourth year. Fourth year. Yeah. So through that time, do you think the game's changed a lot or, you know, how do you see it develop? I think over the past few years it got a lot more physical. Um, you know, you, you cannot only be a good tennis player now. You have to be um, fit, you have to be um, fast, you have to be strong, and, and on top of that, you have to play well. So, yeah. you know, there are a lot of things that come into the game, So, uh, which makes it interesting, and um, that's how you see how the players are doing. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's interesting, I think. Cool. So, uh, let's see. I don't even why. Why the, oh, why she's changed to Wilson? It's because we're the best, that's why. <laughs> I actually started. I actually started playing with Wilson when I was a kid. So um, yeah, let's let's talk about that because we were talking about this a couple of days ago, and it was kind oh, of really? interesting. You want to talk about it? I do want to talk about <laughs> okay. it. So you talk about it actually, and I listened. Remember? Do you yeah, remember you want how the I was, Miami story? Yeah, I want the full Wilson. All right. No, wait, what do you mean Miami? Oh, no, it's. What do you mean Miami? Oh, okay. What are you <laughs> well, talking that's about? Fine. <laughs> No. Well, I started I started playing as a kid. Wilson yeah, as a kid. Um, so I um, yeah. I mean, um, my parents, my dad was playing with Wilson, so um, basically there was no other choice. But I I really liked the uh, Wilson racket, and um, I had the racket that Steffi Graf was playing, um, and I really liked it. And then I had this racket, like a racer racket. I don't know how it how it was called it's red racket you said the red the, one. Oh yeah uh, red with yeah. Uh, black and white um so yeah i basically played my for 10 years with wilson and then i switched uh to other companies and, and then you came uh, back to the good uh, side yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we we're talking about like junior tennis and there's a big push on you know junior equipment and you started with a junior racket right do you think that that helps um you know they have like we have these new softballs. I don't know if you guys have seen this. Did you use anything, any equipment like this when you were a kid? Like the, the softball um, ball and stuff? I, I didn't use, I sometimes use the big one um, to, um, you know, get more spin and to get the feeling. And um, we started, I started actually to play on those mini courts. I don't know how you call them in English. But yeah, like quick start yeah. courts, they call yeah. them. Or, yeah. So, um and I, I, that were my first tournament, actually. Really? Like on those little On a junior courts. court? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. So, um, yeah, and I basically started playing for fun, you know. So, actually, when I was seven, um, my dad was teaching other kids. Um, and I really wanted to play, too. Um, so I was begging him, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't teach me, you know, he didn't want to. And then finally, um, I had like twice half an hour a week, which is basically nothing when you that think of it. That is nothing, yeah. So at age of seven. So, um, yeah, and then, you know, we just kept going and going until someone said, oh yeah, you have to go, go to this tournament and, uh, to see how good your daughter is. So we went there and I went into third place and it happened to be the unofficial German championships. Which is so, a big tournament. Yeah, so yeah. that's that's how it all started. So then we traveled around Europe, you know, and everything. So it's, um, yeah, interesting how it all started. And why do you think your dad didn't want you to to play in the beginning? Was he just afraid you were too young? Or? No, I think he didn't want to push me. Um, because um, you heard so many stories about parents pushing their kids. So And that's exactly when he didn't want to. So I think that's what he was afraid of. So, um 
Yeah, so in this aspect, I'm pretty lucky then. Um, I didn't have the parents that pushed me because I'm the one. So you never really felt pressure, like, no. to when you were at tournaments and no. still don't. That's cool. No, I, yeah. I really play. You like to have fun. fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, like, that campaign, you're like, more fun. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> right? <laughs> so uh, so uh, JB Tennis asks, what string tension do you use? Or what string and tension do you use? Um, I use the Luxilon string. Um, and the tension really depends on where I am, um, what balls we play with, if it's indoor or outdoor, if it's hot or cold. So it really depends. So um, it's tough to just say. What's the range tension. probably that you string uh, from what what range? From what pounds? To what oh, oh, pounds? Or, I have no oh, no, idea. no, kilos, kilos. <laughs> Sorry, kilos. Kilos, okay. Okay, kilos. Um, probably from... 25 kilos or 24 to 28 okay yeah that's yeah that is a big a big gap yeah yeah okay so it says oh do you uh lou asked do you prefer your forehand or backhand um forehand <laughs> and actually i would have to say serve <laughs> <laughs> okay, that wasn't one of the options. In here. <laughs> Stay with the question. <laughs> um, the slice says there's squisher. I'm assuming you mean that quick quick start ball that we showed you. Yeah, this ball is really made for for kids under like uh, eight years old, and it's also similar to this one. So these are the official quick start balls that you can use. And then, and I, I think that it's great that Wilson has the starter um, equipment because. Um, the balls are not so heavy on the arm, and um, also the, the rackets are smaller and lighter, so um, kids can go out and play on, at a young age. And, not, I mean, and kids I are, started, since kids are starting younger and younger, that's exactly, important. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Because I started late, so I, was, I could carry a bit bigger racket, but um, yeah, yeah, when you're four or five, that's better. Uh, M MSCS89 asks, uh, or says... I remember you playing the Banana Bowl 2005 in my hometown. Did you like playing in Brazil? Now uh, talk about good-looking people. Brazil. Hey, I was only how, uh, 15. <laughs> what, you didn't notice guys when you were 15? Come on. Um, yeah, I remember when I was there. Um, we unfortunately had bad weather. Really? <laughs> so was it just very it rainy? It was raining and the courts were really wet, but... Um, no, it was really nice. It was a nice tournament, and um, other than that, I really enjoyed my time there. Yeah, Brazil's a, a great place to go, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right, well... Yeah, they actually have the Olympics there, right? In 2000... It, what year? No. 2016? Because yeah. this, this coming year is yeah. London, right? Yes. And then the following's 2016. Yeah. yeah, I think goes to it goes to Rio. Yeah. There you go. They have the answers. Thank you, guys. <laughs> You're helping us out. Let's see. What? Let's keep Tracy uh, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to actually read this one out loud because that is a funny comment. JB Tennis says, let's keep Tracy away from junior men's <laughs> tournaments. I didn't say, I was just saying that there's good looking guys in Brazil. I wasn't referring to the tournaments. Okay, let's get this, let's get this, let's get this straight. Come on, guys. Um, <laughs> all right, so what, we, what we're going to do is, uh, since we're in Aus Australia, we asked a couple of people what they thought about... Um, Australia. What what's something you guys needed to know about Australia? So here's a video from um, the stringing room here at the Australian. All right, we're on site at the Australian Open. This is what the players see when they're going to the stringing room. Wilson is the official stringer of the Australian Open. Here we are. This is what the players see when they come in. Hi, I'm Marcia. Hi, I'm Linda. Hi, I'm Carla. For all you Americans, I'm Carla. And we don't know about Australia is we don't have kangaroo in this room in the streets. It is our national anthem and we do eat it. We do, we do eat kangaroos. <laughs> and we're highly multicultural. We have actually more foreigners than we do have Australians in Australia. So come to Australia. <laughs> and our footballers don't wear any paddings. They wear short shorts. <laughs> and skill. <laughs> All right. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. All right, we're on site at the Australian Open. This is what the players see when they're going to the stringing room. Wilson is the official stringer. So I don't know if you guys knew that. One of the things that they said was that in Australia, there's more people that are foreigners than actual Australians. In oh, really? Australia, yeah. It was a pretty interesting fact. Yeah. 
So, um, Renstance asks, um, actually regarding your survey, it was one of your major weapons for you to win Charleston and make it to the quarters of Wimbledon in, 20, in 2009. How has your shoulder injury changed your serve? Mm, well, um, I changed my service motion right after to come back um, so that I can come back quicker, actually. Um, but now I'm back to um, my regular motion again. And um, yeah, I think I'm really getting back to where I was with the serve. So um, yeah, it's good. I mean, injuries are pretty much the toughest part of, of being a tennis player and trying to stay healthy for so many weeks in a row. Do you think that, I mean, there's always discussions about the schedule, the length of the, the season. What are your thoughts on it? Well, I think it's it's really tough because, um, as I said before, the the game became so much more physical. Um, and the season is really long. It's one of the longest in sport, I think. Yeah. I mean, there are not many If not other, the longest, exactly, probably, yeah. Going from January to November. Yeah. So, um, and we always have those big tournaments in between. So, um, and with the mandatory tournaments, it's, we cannot How really many is mandatory now? What's the, um, is it 18? Oh, no, no, no. It's um, the Grand Slams. Okay. Plus um, four or five more. So okay. So it's... Um, it has to be tier one or something? Um, yeah, it's Indian Wells. It's okay. Miami, Madrid, and Beijing. Okay. So, um, yeah, and it's it's tougher to, to schedule uh, because of that, because you have to play them, and um, when you get injured, um, you still should play them. So it's, you know, it's tough, too, because you really want to play them. Um, but when you're injured you have to take the decision so um and you know then the injury gets worse and worse so that's that's the toughest part so um yeah but i mean it's tough to get back after an injury um because you really want to get back quick that's the first thing right. you have to stay patient and you have to work your way back slowly and then uh once you're on the court you're also i'm a bit impatient you know i, I want everything to be back now but um, I have to stay um, patient and wait, you know, until everything clicks back together. I mean, I, I feel it with every match, it gets better. So with every tournament, I learn from every match, which is the most important for me right now. And that's a good attitude to have about it. Um, someone asked, uh, the slice asked, do your parents ever travel with you now? Um, yes, my dad is my coach, so he's always with me. <laughs> Um, and my mom, yeah, she comes with me uh, sometimes as well, mostly to the bigger tournaments. Yeah, her parents are great. They're fun. <laughs> and sometimes they bring the dog. Yeah, Happy. Happy. So tell us about Happy. <laughs> happy had his own, her, her, her head, his, his yeah. own credential for uh, U.S. Uh, Open. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, watch out, big time. Big, big time celebrity. You know why he had one? Why? Because um, some of the security people were not sure if, he's allowed to go in or not are you serious yes that's why that's he, why he needed a credential yes <laughs> okay that's that's an interesting reason why it is. <laughs> so uh jb tennis asks who would you like to win uh the main draw the men's draw uh, <laughs> yeah I, no I no no choose to, your no i actually had to go with roger yeah yeah get number I like, 17 I, I like the way he plays and um uh, the way he is, actually, I mean, he's he's very down to earth, and um, that's what I really like about people that are um, successful but still stay the way they are. Yeah, and it's not easy to do that. Yeah. Um, who who on the men's side? Because you said that you looked up to Mary Pierce and uh, Hingis when you were younger. Who on the men's side did you look up up to? Andre Agassi. Agassi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my favorite. Just also the the way the style of his game. It pretty much suits me. Yeah, so, so take the ball early, exactly, power. Exactly. So, um, yeah, the way he was fighting too. So it's, um, yeah, no, I like to, like to watch him. Did you meet, have you met Andre? And, yeah, Andre yeah. and Steffi. And also both of them are so down to earth. And um, I trained with Darren Cahill as well. So, um, you know, great people. And what, what celebrity have you met that you were just like in awe to me? Who... Who are you just very excited to meet that you've met before? Ah, oh, I have to think about that Okay, one. we'll come back to that. <laughs> so think about that one. Um, the Slice asks, how and when did you do you decide the tournaments you're going to play for the year? Um, well, last year it wasn't a problem because I was ranked 22. So um, 
you know, I could just pick whatever I wanted to play. Now it's uh, tougher because I dropped out of the hundred top hundred, so now I have to see where I get in, um, which makes it really tough. So um, for us, it's the deadline for um, signing up for the tournaments is six weeks prior to the tournament, so that's about when when we have to know when we want to play. Yeah, they. You know, one of the questions they asked me yesterday was, um, you know, do we get a salary as a professional tennis player? No. And that's what I'm saying is, and it's tough, you know, when your rankings um, at a certain level, it's really hard to decide which tournaments you're going to play, you know, how much money is in it. It's a lot of things to weigh out and it's not really clean cut because, or clear you cut, never know. because you never know. Oh, and yeah. within, yeah, and within six weeks, your ranking can change a, a ton. Yeah. So... You know, it, it makes it difficult, and it's it's not the easiest easiest job to probably to explain to to a lot of to a no, lot of people. No, and also because we we have to pay for the for the flight tickets, that makes it also tough because you don't know where you're going to get in, so you cannot book early because the flights obviously are um, cheaper when you book them. You know, well in advance, yeah. yeah. So, um, and then you can't like nowadays most airlines are not very flexible, and also yeah. changing. Uh, flights like they're gonna charge you a full a, a full flight yeah. cost to, to change it yeah so you know we have to talk to them <laughs> yes yes uh, United Airlines we're looking for a sponsor for Sabine okay please please contact her uh, you can find us at Wilson Tennis and and I'll get I'll get you I'll be I'll be your agent for uh I'm not I gonna don't take, know what I'm not gonna, going I'm, to not gonna I'm not gonna take Oli's place I'm just gonna do it for I'm just gonna do it for for United Airlines because. I also want to be bumped up to business class too, so so it's it's two reasons, you know. A British tennis fan asks, "What do you think of Heather Watson?" Yeah, I think um, it's great that there are some Brits coming up. So uh, with Anne Kitherbung and um, Heather Watson, and there are a couple more. So, and Laura Robson. Yeah, exactly. So there are a few more, which um, you know is good for the. Um, British tennis. Yeah, I mean, you know, in the UK, they've they're they're so big on tennis, yeah. and and so it's you know, we always hope that there is somebody coming up there because because they they love tennis and of course they have Wimbledon, so it's one of the greatest tournaments. Um, let's see. JBS, uh, <laughs> maybe at the U.S. Open, uh, they'll allow you and Happy to play <laughs> to play mixed doubles. Oh, that would together. be tough. <laughs> like, who would win? You and Happy. Or Alana Bondarenko and her little Chihuahua. <laughs> oh, they're actually playing together. <laughs> <laughs> what really? Yeah, yeah. They're they hang out together. Yeah, the dogs. Yeah. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, but her hers is a girl, no? Um. Yeah. But so. And you don't have fine. any issues? No, they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What kind of dog is Happy? A Yorkshire Terrier. Yeah. Very a little cute. one. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let her go. This we've, we've been on for a while. Thank you for joining us. You're very welcome. Thanks, guys, for your uh, questions, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs>